Do goldfish really need the heaters in winter? Or have we been protecting them a little too much? Goldfish are not tropical fish. They evolved from crucial cap, a species that survives within winters in the wild. In this video, I'm not here to see heaters are wrong. Instead, I want to show you why goldfish can overwinter naturally, and why natural wintering can actually make them healthier, stronger, and more beautiful. This is how goldfish have survived the winter for centuries. Before we go any further, I want to make one thing clear. This video is not uh, anti-heater. In some situations, heaters are absolutely useful, especially for sick fish, temperature control, or extreme conditions. But heaters are not the only correct option. Natural wintering is not a risky experiment. It's a biological option that aligns with how goldfish involved. Goldfish are cold-blooded fish. They originated from mutations of crucial cat, and they still carry the same survival systems as their wild ancestors. In nature, crucial cat live in ponds, lakes, and slow rivers, where water temperatures drop dramatically in winter. Goldfish inherited this ability to adapt to seasonal change. They are designed to slow down, rest, and wait for spring. From autumn to winter, as water temperatures gradually drop to around 4 to 15 degrees Celsius, goldfish enter what I call power saving mode. They swim less, they eat less, sometimes they stop eating completely. This state is known as semi dormancy Below 4 degrees Celsius, goldfish enter a state very close to true hibernation. This is not weakness, it's a natural survival instinct. So why do many experienced goldfish keepers choose natural wintering? Let's talk about the real benefits. First, enhance the color and the breeding potential. Low temperatures stimulate gonad development and hormone production. These hormones enhance color expression. Day night temperature differences help pigments settle. Reds become deeper, blacks become darker. This is why traditional Chinese breeders often say cold makes goldfish more beautiful. Second, stronger bodies and a better immunity. Cold water slows metabolism, energy consumption decreased, fat reserves and preserved. Goldfish that follow natural temperature cycles often have stronger immune systems and better adaptability. They are not greenhouse fish. Third, improve the body shape and appearance. In warm seasons, goldfish tend to grow longer and slimmer. Wind cold suppresses vertical growth, allowing the body to become rounder, thinker, and more compact. Reduced feeding also helps direct nutrients toward head growth and scale quality, especially in rancho goldfish. Fourth, reproductive preparation. Seasonal temperature changes regulate the biological clock. Winter fasting and the cold stimulation help reduce excess fat, relieve pressure on reproductive organs, and increase spawning success in spring. And fifth, lower disease pressure. In cold water, parasites and harmful bacteria become less active. 
with reduced feeding, waste production decreased, and the maintenance becomes easier. For many fish keepers, winter becomes a season of rest. Of course, natural wintering still requires preparation. Let's talk about feeding first. During autumn and early winter, temperatures fluctuate a lot. On summer days, when water temperature rises above 15 degrees Celsius, you should feed your goldfish. Choose low-protein, easier digestible foods, such as wheat germ pellets or frozen bloodworms. Unlike summer, winter feeding should be done around midday, when temperatures are highest. When winter fully arrives, feeding should be greatly reduced. Don't worry, healthy goldfish will graze on green algae when they need food. For water changes, follow the same rule. Change water at midday on sunny days. About 25% is enough. Every two to four weeks is usually sufficient. Below 10 degrees Celsius, petrifying bacteria slow down. So avoid the large water changes. Let's talk about ice. Ice itself does not kill goldfish. Lack of oxygen does. When the surface freezes, gas exchange stops. That's why oxygen management is crucial. Use an air pump or floating plastic bottles to keep part of the water surface open. Floating objects also reduce ice pressure and help protect glass tanks from cracking. A small amount of salt can slow ice formation, but it should be used carefully and moderately. In traditional Chinese fishkeeping, the goal was never to fight nature. Goldfish were kept in ceramic jars, stone basins, and outdoor ponds. They followed the seasons. Winter was a time to rest for both the fish and the fishkeeper. This philosophy is not outdated. It's biological wisdom. So let's summarize. Goldfish can overwinter naturally. Nature wintering has real, proven benefits, and your main responsibility. It's not the temperature; it's oxygen. Some weak fish may not survive winter, but that's not、uh, winter's fault. Healthy goldfish emerge stronger, brighter, and better prepared for spring. Winter is a season of patience. Take this time to rest, to travel, to observe. When spring arrives and your goldfish awaken. You will understand why following nature is sometimes the best care for. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you see winter differently, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.